Hello ladies, it's me Ashley. Um, I haven't done a video in a while. Um, mainly because I reached all the way up until cycle day 67 before I hit cycle day 1. Um, today for me is cycle day 4. Um, I started back taking metformin. Um, 2,000 milligrams a day and once I started back taking metformin within the second day my period was on and I thought that was crazy because I had taken birth control you know to try to regulate my cycle and it didn't work but the moment I took metformin my period came on so today I am cycle day four um with me taking metformin, I have noticed that my cycle has been extremely heavy, um, painful. Um, I've been kind of exhausted and tired. There have been a lot of clots. Um, it's just very heavy. Um, I'm not sure if that's because I hadn't had a cycle since May 31st. But... At least I know that my cycle's here, and it gives me another opportunity to try. Um, this cycle, I started, along with metformin, I'm back taking Geritol. And because uh, my period is so heavy and I feel weak um, from the period, I started taking iron. Um, this cycle, the only thing different that we're doing is um our donor <clears throat> he's more accessible um and able to work with my time schedule and well my work schedule not time schedule my work schedule and his work schedule um he will be starting next monday or this upcoming monday um he will um, be donating every other day twice a day um, one early in the morning and then another time right before I go to work um, that will be Monday, Wednesday, Friday and Sunday and then starting the following Monday after that um, <clears throat> which is my full fertile week uh, I'm not checking for ovulation this go around um, being that my donor is accessible I figure what's the point if, you know, he's available every day, you know, before a particular time. So, why not take advantage of it? Um, so, after the first week of doing it every other day, providing a donation every other day, starting Monday, it will go to every day, um, twice a day, up until, I think, Sunday. And Sunday will be our last day because that's when my fertile week is over. Um, I'm tracking all information and have been tracking all information um, in my Avia app, which I love to death because it just is accurate. It's up to date. I mean, I still use my pink pad, but Avia is... It's way better. I like the pink pad for the discussion boards and the groups that they, they do have. Um, pink pad does give accurate information, but you have to keep tweaking your days. Um, Avia pretty much goes on a day-to-day -day basis as long as you're updating your information. Um, it will update your information for you and be up to up to the sea, like exactly accurate. Um, so we'll be in simming twice a day all the way up until the 24th of August. And then I will be in my two week wait after starting August 25th. Um, I'm really trying not to get my hopes up, um, being that we have sat out two months. Waiting on Aunt Flo to show up. And she ain't make no arrival. At all. Um, I'm just gonna. Keep my fingers crossed that we. Catch. 
our baby just go round and see where things go. Um, if anybody has any suggestions on, you know, what they've tried, um, please don't hesitate to, you know, pass that information on, share it, you know. If I have any information, I have no problems, you know, writing, saying, hey, this is what, you know, I've read or, you know, somebody that I know I've used and, you know, maybe that'll be beneficial. Um, um, also, if anybody knows anything about the Robitussin and Mucinex, when to take it, do you take it all the way up into ovulation or do you take it during the fertile week? somebody let me know um until then i'm just gonna end this video because i'm tired and i have to get up in the morning for work y'all have a good night remember to rate comment and subscribe if you have any questions please don't hesitate to ask them um i'm here for anyone in the ttc community um to help to the best of my ability but y'all have a good night bye